Hi guys, this is a video on triple booting Windows XP, Windows Vista and Ubuntu. A couple of videos ago I said about having done this on my desktop PC and since then people have been asking me questions on how I did it. A guy in my last video asked me to make a video on it so here it is. Um, I don't actually have a camcorder to record my screen on my computer or anything like that. All I have is my screen recorder. Um, but what I actually um, have done is put it inside a virtual machine. So I've actually got the triple boot working in a virtual machine. So if you want to do this for yourself, I suggest wiping your hard drive clean. It's best to have a blank hard drive uh, because if you have any of these um, operating systems installed already, uh, chances are you may end up rendering them unbootable and then you won't be able to access your information. Now once you've got your blank hard drive what you can actually do is make your hard drive blank with a partition manager. Now you'll need this anyway but you can actually remove your partition that has these operating systems on with the partition manager and then make some new ones basically because that's what we're going to need to do to install all these operating systems. I'll show you um, how, I, how I've got mine set up and then uh, you can see from there but you'll need a partition manager so some free ones um, I suggest Runnish partition manager I think Qt partition manager these all I think need to be burned to a CD another one is the Gparted live CD or I think it's called Parted Magic something like that um, but they all have to be burned to CD and then you can then remove um, partitions. If you don't know what a partition is, think of a hard drive, section it up, each of the sections are a partition and you can install um, operating systems in each section. Now if you need a video or more help on this then uh, leave a comment and I'll make a further video on it. Okay, so you've got a blank hard drive, you've got nothing installed on your computer, it's just blank and you've got your partition manager at the ready. I'm actually going to turn this on now so you can see what I have starting up. So this is the boot manager. I'm just going to stop this counting down. Now um, you can see I've got XP Vista and Ubuntu exactly as I've shown here and if I go onto each one of them it will boot into the respective operating system. What I'm actually going to do is start by booting into XP. Now I apologise for the screen snapping. That's because I don't have the tools installed, the extra tools. I don't have that in the um, for the uh, boot area because basically you can't. I haven't installed it in XP either, but um, so you'll just have to bear with me. I'll make sure you can see what's happening. Don't worry. Okay, so we're just waiting for the desktop icons. All right, here we go. Uh, you need to get to Administrative Tools. That's in Control Panel. Uh, start control panel for those who don't know and go to computer management and then disk management that's if you want to go to the bit that I'm going to to show you now disk nor this is my hard drive I've allocated 20 gigabytes to this virtual machine so just pretend I've got a 20 gigabyte hard drive what I've actually done with my partition manager which is one of these is um, make two partitions I've put them exactly the same size, but obviously, um, if you're intending to do exactly the same as me, if you use Vista more than XP, you're going to want to give more to the Vista partition than the XP partition. But I, you'll notice that I've got three operating systems here and only two partitions, yet I have all three installed. Um, I'll go into that in a second, but you need to make sure you have these two. Um, just section it into two if you're aiming to install these three. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you've installed Windows XP, you've made the two partitions and you've installed XP into the first one. Now obviously you're going to need the drivers for the various operating systems, that's another thing you're going to need. So once you've installed XP you're going to find it all big if it hasn't recognised your hardware. You'll need to download all the drivers, you may want to do this beforehand and you'll probably need to note that uh, most of the time XP drivers are different to Vista drivers. Um, so you're going to need drivers for both of those and possibly Ubuntu. Um, you may need some more help in installing drivers into Ubuntu because it's a little bit more difficult. So this is just assuming you've got all the drivers and you've installed Windows XP. What you then need to do is install Windows Vista. That goes into the second uh, part of the, uh, the drive. So um, it shows it a little bit differently. It'll show it underneath. But you need to install and remember the size of the other one. Um, so you've installed 
XP onto a drive, it will be the one that's um, got all the space free. So it's the other drive that you need to install, Vista on. So I'm going to assume that you've installed XP, you're happy with that, it's customised. You've then installed Vista onto the other portion of your hard disk. What you'll end up, once it's finished and it reboots, you'll end up with a menu that looks exactly like this, but it will say earlier version of Windows and Microsoft Windows Vista. What I want you to do is start Microsoft Windows Vista. Now this is going to take a while to start, so I'm going to make sure you can understand where I'm, what I've done so far. So you've got a blank hard drive, you've got your partition manager which is burnt onto CD, um, you've then um, split the hard drive into two, um, obviously giving more space to the one you use most out of XP or Vista because the order that it goes is install XP, install Vista, then install Ubuntu. Um, so you've got your blank hard drive, you've partitioned it up, you then need to install XP, make sure that's all done, install XP into the other section of the disk and then you'll end up with that, man that boot manager. What we're actually going to do is change that boot manager because as you may know I said earlier version of Windows was an option. Now we're going to change that to Windows XP. I'm using something called Vista Boot Pro. It's a free download. What you can actually do is rename them to whatever you like. I'm just going to click OK here. This doesn't matter for the time being. And I'm going to click Manage OS Entries. Now you notice that it says Microsoft Windows XP and Microsoft Windows Vista. These are the things that were in the boot. When, you first, when I first started the computer where it said XP Vista Ubuntu, this is the XP and Vista. Now you can actually rename them, that's what I did. This first, first it said earlier version of Windows and Windows Vista. I simply clicked this, typed in Microsoft Windows XP, you can't see it but I clicked OK, applied it to all of them and, it's, um, and then it, it was done. Then it says, now it says when you turn it on Microsoft Windows XP. Okay, so I have the uh, two sections of the hard disk, I have the boot menu modified, I now need to install Ubuntu. Now the great thing about Ubuntu, if I just mount the disk, obviously you're going to need the CD, I'm just mounting it inside the virtual machine to show you it. And um, the great thing about Ubuntu is that you can click install inside Windows. Now what this will do is actually add a boot option for you. So it will go Windows XP, Windows Vista, Ubuntu, exactly like you saw. Now I can't click this because I've already installed Ubuntu, but you'll get further options. If you look back into my Wubi um, thing, it shows you the options that are available because that's what it uses, it uses a Wubi installation um, but it's very easy to set up and uh, you can then boot into Ubuntu so um, that is pretty much it, you then end up with a um, you then end up with a triple booted system because what you've actually done is installed Ubuntu onto a drive that's got Windows on it uh, so you haven't needed to um, partition anything um, this is just because the uh, Ubuntu CD is booted. That's okay. So you've ended up, it will end up like this. Um, you can boot into Ubuntu fine. I'll just show you Ubuntu booting. This is what will happen. Um, so you've got your XP's run on your first hard disk. Uh, you've got Vista on, on your first partition, sorry. You've got Vista on your other partition. And you've then got Ubuntu inside one of the two, one of the two partitions that you've chosen. Um, most likely it will be on the Vista partition so make sure you leave enough space for Windows Vista because Windows Vista space will take up more than Windows XP anyway so um, I hope that makes sense if it doesn't then I'm sorry but it basically goes install Windows XP, install Windows Vista then install Ubuntu. Ubuntu will install itself inside Windows, as in it will leave a file inside Windows, however you can boot to it like a normal operating system. Um, that's about it really, um, so thanks for watching my video, as you can see Ubuntu has started up and they're all using the same boot manager, I could show you it um, partitioning it separately, having Ubuntu separately, but what will probably happen is the um, boot that's included with Ubuntu, which is the Grub bootloader, what will happen is it will start the Grub bootloader, it will have a Windows as an option, but you'll go into that, and then it will go into that Windows boot manager that you saw at the beginning. So you're actually going into two boot managers, which is not very efficient. So it's best to do it the Windows way. Um, obviously that has its disadvantages, but as you saw, 
I've got them all booting on the same boot manager and that was how I did it. Now if you want to watch this video over again it's uh, more than likely that you will need to. Um, that's how I did it so thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.